Good morning, second grade. Today is lesson 38 for Saxon Phonics. We are actually going to start with a little game. So I want you to have your spelling and word frequency practice page. And you also need a marker or a pencil or little pieces of paper. We are going to play bingo. So I'll give you a minute to go get your supplies. All right, so I'm going to give you some directions. For every direction I give you, cover or color one box on your paper. And when you have covered four boxes, either across, up and down, or from corner to corner, call out bingo. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. So first, cover the correct spelling for the final sound in the word grass. Grass. Remember the floss rule. Grass. Next, cover the suffix in the word starring. Cover the suffix in the word starring. Cover the vowel sound in the word lake. Cover the vowel sound in the word lake. Cover the correct spelling for the final sound in the word fluff. Remember the floss rule? Cover the correct spelling for the final sound in the word fluff. Cover the vowel sound in the word cute. Cover the vowel sound in the word cute. Cover the suffix in the word landed. Cover the suffix in the word landed. Cover the correct spelling for the final sound in the word thrill. Cover the correct spelling for the final sound in the word thrill. Cover the vowel sound in the word like. Cover the vowel sound in the word like. Cover the medial spelling in the word tooth. Cover the medial spelling in the word tooth. Cover the fine, sorry, cover the vowel sound in the word rope. Cover the vowel sound in the word rope. Bingo? You should have a bingo now. So you should have done A, consonant E from the vowel sound in the word lake. You should have the SS from the spelling for the final sound in the word grass. Suffix ING from the word starring. And O consonant E for the vowel sound in rope. I hope that you got that bingo. All right, so let's turn the worksheet over. We are going to practice spelling some words. On number one, spell the word grass. Grass. G R A S S. Grass. Number two, trap, trap, 
T R A P trap. Number three, off. Off. O F F off. Grass trap off. Now let's practice spelling some sight words. Number four, there. There. Like, there will be a sunny day. There. T H E R E. Number five, spell the contraction won't. Won't. W O N apostrophe T. Won't. Number six, would. Like, would you like a cookie for lunch? Would. W O U L D. Would. You can put your practice sheet away for right now. Echo these words and listen to the sound in the medial position. Feet. Weep. Teen. What sound do you hear in the medial position of feet, weep, teen? E, very good. Look at the words on my board. Feet, weep, teen. What is making the E sound? The E and E. Does anyone know what E, E is called? It's a digraph because two letters are making one sound. Is it a vowel digraph or a consonant digraph? It is a vowel digraph because it is made up of vowels. And how do we code digraphs? We underline them. So go ahead and underline digraph EE, -E. digraph EE, -E. digraph EE. -E. Now, look at the word feet. Do both of the letters E make a sound? No, that's right. We say the E sound only once. So we're going to code the first E with a macron and cross out the second E. We don't say e eat. We say feet. Only one E is making the sound. Same thing with weep. Only one E is making the sound. So we put a macron above the first E, cross out the second. Fourteen. Only one E is making the sound, cross out the second. Okay. So now when I ask you to write the letters that make the E sound, you are going to write Digraph E, E, comma, E, final digraph, E, E. Digraph E, E, comma, E, final digraph, E, E. Okay, so let's get out our worksheet again. We are going to write the spelling sound on number seven. That was digraph E, E, comma, E, final digraph, E, E. This is the new spelling sound for E. Now let's practice spelling new words with digraph E, E. On number eight, spell the word keep. Keep. Keep is spelled K E E P. Keep. Number nine, green. Green. G 
R E E N. Green. And number 10, feeling. Feeling. F E E L I N G. Feeling. Today, you do not have to write a sentence, but please practice reading and spelling your high frequency words in the box. Please get out worksheet number 38 now. Digraph E E. We are going to practice coding some words. On number one, we have suffix I N G. Put a box around suffix ing. And there is digraph ee. -E. Underline your digraph. Put a macron above the first E. Cross out the second E. Can you read number one? This word is seeping. Seeping. The first syllable is accented. Please add your accent mark before the box. Seeping. On number two, we have a combination. Combination QU. Put an arc underneath the letters QU. A consonant E. May crown above the A, cross out the final E. Can you read the word for number two? Square. Square. That matches with one of our pictures, dry line, square. There are two digraphs in number three. Digraph TH, underline. Digraph EE, -E. macron above the first E, cross out the second E, only one E sound. This word is three. Number three says three. That matches with our picture of the number three. Number four, U consonant E. May crown above the U, cross out the final E. Can you read number four? Fume, fume. That is showing out of the back of the car. That is your final picture match. Number five has two digraphs. Digraph SH and digraph OO. Number five says shook. Shook. We have a lot of coding for number six. First, we're going to start with digraph CH. Combination ER, so I underlined the digraph, put an arc underneath the combination. This word is chatter. There are two syllables. There is a vowel consonant consonant vowel pattern. There is a consonant after the A, so we will put a brevi. Which syllable is accented in chatter? The first one, put your accent mark before the dividing line. Let's read the sentences together. If pork is not cooked well, it can make us sick. When the pork is white, it will be safe for us. Number seven, what happens if pork is not cooked well? Well, it says in our sentences, if pork is not cooked well, it can make us sick. It can make us sick. It can make us sick. Number eight, pork should be cooked 
until it is blank. What color should pork be when it is cooked? White, very good. Fill in the bubble and I'm also going to write the word white on the line. And number nine, white pork is safe for us. Yes or no? Yes. You want white pork. Please turn to the homework side and I will tell you how many codes you need for each word. Number one has one coding. Number two has five codes. Number three has three. Number four has three markings. Number five has two. And there is one for number six. Again, your numbers are one, five, three, three, two, one. Go ahead and get started on your homework sheet.